Will, uh, try to go for Wales. How did that feel on Saturday? <laughs> um, yeah, it felt good. <laughs> and not something, uh, a, rar- a rarity for you? Um, yeah, not well. I've kind of averaged about one a season. So, you know, this year, I think about two just for the season. So, Prolific then. Mm. <laughs> yeah. How did you enjoy the weekend? Uh, it just seemed to go well. Yeah, I think it was a it was it was a really good day. It was um, you know by and large like a good performance from us. Uh, obviously, good to get a, an emphatic result um, and start off yeah the summer series on the right foot and build towards you know the next two weekends to come. And your partnership with Ben Carter, only twenty, uh, seemed to have gone well. Yeah, it was yeah it was great playing with Ben. Um, kind of very mature head for a twenty year old. Uh, thought yeah. Dealt with the occasion really well. Played played great. Um, so yeah, looking forward to hopefully playing with him a few more times for Wales and for the Dragons. Uh, this this summer you've come in. Well, you're obviously starting with Ben, senior senior player. Obviously, Corey Hill, Jake Ball, Alan Wynne Jones, all away. Is it a sort of different vibe within that second row place at the moment? Um, yeah, it is a little bit. I mean, obviously, there's some some very experienced guys who you take out of the equation and. Suddenly, um, you know, perhaps some of us, like myself, a bit less experienced internationally, um, you know, suddenly moving up the moving up the pecking order in terms of, um, you know, having a bit of bit of influence, bit of things to say. Um, and it's been, yeah, I've, I've I've enjoyed it. I think it's been it's been good for me. It's been nice to to sort of challenge yourself a bit more. Um, so yeah, a bit of a different bit of different atmosphere, um, a bit of a different experience. Yeah. Argentina this weekend, a very different test. Yeah, though, I mean, yeah, no, no one's under any illusions that we're be very different to Canada last weekend. I think, obviously, uh, top tier nation, top four in the world, a couple of great results recently in the try in the rugby championship. Um, so yeah, it'll be a, it'll be a very, very good test for us. I think everyone's excited about, yeah, going toe to toe for with them. That's great. Well, thank you. I'll let Chris uh, go with the Dragons now. I say, be a dragon's fest, but there we are. Nice. Um, with, with Ben, were you sort of because um, presumably when you went up against him in December, did you know anything about him? Um, not really. Uh, to be honest, no. Yeah. No. Well, nobody did because it is. It shows how rapid his rise is because I know he's a makeshift dragon side, but he was so new on the senior stage, let alone. Mm. Yeah, his I mean, dad, I so. obviously he's he's done very well, and I think it's just. Uh, it's an example of you know you get opportunities in sport um, for whatever reason, and it's just on you to take them. And you know, full credit to Ben, he, he did that on the weekend. So he's he's very diligent, isn't he? He's been, everything he does, he and grounded as well, which is a good good mix, I guess. Yeah, I mean, he definitely doesn't doesn't come across like a twenty year old twenty year old guy. I'd say, uh, he's, yeah, as I said, he's got a pretty mature head on him. Um, yeah, seems kind of methodical, diligent. So uh, I imagine, you know, he's, he's got all the attributes to go pretty far in the game. Is that a good thing for him in your coming back when caps? You don't want him to be too good, do you? A... <laughs> no, it's always a good thing for me. Yes. There he is. Yes. Um, Wayne said last week that he, he thinks the move to the Dragons will help you to sort of hopefully hit that next level in Test Rugby. Do you think, well, how, how do you think it'll help you? Um, yeah, I mean, I... I agree with him. I, I hope so. Um, I mean, obviously, aside from having to come back or come to play in Wales to continue playing for Wales, it, I, I definitely saw it as a positive. Um, you know, trying to do those Six Nations campaigns and being dragged between two places is is pretty difficult, um, particularly if you're trying to, you know, call a line out or establish yourself in the team. You're missing weeks, you're missing days training. Um, it is a, it is a tough ask. Uh, so I am, yeah, I'm, I'm excited about hopefully, you know, being being here the whole time, um, getting picked to play for Wales, playing well for the Dragons, um, yeah, being you know being around the Welsh camp the whole time and putting my best foot forward as a result. And it's a pretty exciting pack you'll be part of. I mean, you got Elliot, Leon, the, the back row were all on last weekend. It's it's a good chance, isn't it, as well, to build some of the Dragons? Yeah, I mean, it's it's, it's as you say, it's a, it's an exciting group and. Yeah, hopefully, um, you know, I can I can add a bit and play my part to 
to the squad moving forward and like getting getting some good results. Because well, club form will be important, isn't it? Because obviously Alan Wynn and Adam Beard will be coming back as well. There's going to be for your test hopes. It's yep. a real chance, isn't it, to to mm-hmm. get that starting spot? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, you know, you've got to play well. <laughs> you want to keep playing international rugby, you've got to play well for, for your region, for your club. Um, um, in terms of Argentina, it's going to be a step up, isn't it, from, from Canada? Where, where do you think you'll need to? Um, yeah, I mean, it's definitely going to be a step up. Um, that's no disrespect to Canada. I think uh, first and foremost, probably physically, um, I think as a back of forwards, like you know, at, at times it was it was quite cruisy against Canada. Canada. Um, so I think you know, Argentina are you know they're, they're big, physical, uh, always kind of you know, good scrum, good maul, um, and so I think that's I'm not really. For me, that's kind of the area that I'm focused on and not trying to look past is like, you know, if we get our basics right there and um, kind of tear into them, then hopefully that gives us a good footing to go forward in the rest of the game and it's going to take that physicality. It's going to then be required in, you know, every single aspect um, to get us go forward, uh, both in attack and defence. That's what you want though, isn't it? As, as players trying to make an impression, you want, the, the opposition has to be really strong for you to make a point to Wayne and the other coaches. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, I think Canada was it was perfect as a as a first game um, for us to, you know, with kind of a slightly different group, um, guys in different different roles, as as, as we said. Um, so great to have that as a as a warm up. But I, I was always looking at these summer fixtures and thinking, I'm really glad that we are playing Argentina for two twice because, you know, personally those are the kind of tests I want to play in um, to both you know to test myself and also to try and prove. You know what, what I'm capable of. So, yes. All good. Go well. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Well, I just wondered how knackered you were at the end of the season. <laughs> I mean, that was um, the inference from Wayne. You know, I mean, how did you feel? I mean, it's it's a long slog in the Premiership. Yeah, I, I was actually. I mean, I, I felt pretty good in the last couple of months. Uh, I think I had a. I, I sort of struggled a bit around the Six Nations time, and it was just kind of in the, in the middle of that uh, premiership season, I guess, like having rolled straight in from the previous season into the autumn, in, into back into the premiership. And it does, you know, it, it does weigh you down kind of playing week in, week out. And also as a result of kind of injuries at WAS, I was playing 80 minutes every week. Uh, and it was, you know, <laughs> it can be pretty attritional. Mm. But, I've, you know, as I said, I've, I mean, the last couple of months, I've kind of feel like I've uh, found a bit more energy um, so I'm, I'm, I've been feeling good. I've been, you know, being much more myself uh, on a rugby pitch, on the training pitch. Um, yeah, looking forward to a bit of time off. Yeah, uh, Dean Ryan doesn't run a holiday camp, that's for sure. Uh, but I think having those twin goals, the Dragons and Wales, looked at sympathetically might mean that come the autumn, come the Six Nations, you're probably at your peak rather than struggling to stay at a peak. Yeah, no, I hope so. Uh, um, obviously, I, I am just focused on playing as well as I can for whoever I'm picked to play for. Um, and hopefully those two goals are you know, very much aligned. But And where are you going to be living now? Have you moved uh, yet? Or? Yeah, I've moved. I've actually moved to, um, to Bristol. Right. Um, because my girlfriend has got to travel into London still. So it's kind of a halfway, bit of a compromise. She always wins, yes, doesn't she? Um, and finally, were you uh, were you watching on Sunday? Um, the, the great dark blue victory. Oh yes, <laughs> I wasn't watching. No, but I was following it. All oh, right, right sorry. The, um, they sent out a live feed, but the it wasn't working. Ah, right, you had to pay for it. That's why. <laughs> yeah, I was following some updates and. Uh, <laughs> Finally, I've been, it's been a bit of a, bit of a dry patch for Oxford, so... Yeah, quite. No, no, there, there we go. Well done, fella. Thank you. Thank you. All good. Thank you, guys.